guys, welcome to Roy Meets World. My name is Roy and today I'm here at the Magic Kingdom because I'm celebrating one year of doing videos for Attractions Magazine for Roy Meets World. Isn't that awesome? Uh, so to celebrate that, I thought it'd be kind of appropriate to come to Magic Kingdom and do all of the day one attractions and rides here at Magic Kingdom. So everything that opened with the park on opening day, October 1st, 1971, that is 13 attractions. Uh, that is the Country Bears, Dumbo, Jungle Cruise, the Mad Tea Party, the Carousel, the Swiss Family Treehouse, the Hall of Presidents, the Haunted Mansion, the Tomorrowland Speedway, the Walt Disney World Railroad, the Enchanted Tiki Room, It's a Small World, and the Frontierland Shooting Arcade. I'm super excited to do this. I've been wanting to do it for a while, waiting for the schedules to line up. So I do have a lot to do today to get this challenge done, but thankfully I'm not alone today. I am joined by... Brennan, hashtag needs more Brennan. Okay, we have something <laughs> oh to do first. What is it? Uh, it's Small World. Let's go do it. All right, potentially the most iconic ride in all of Disney parks is It's a Small World, so we are starting with that today. Hey, Brennan. Hey. What'd you think of It's a Small World? Uh, nice and relaxing, you know, classic. We got stuck in that last room a little bit, but. Yeah, it turned into a, an Omnimover, because it was just all the boats just me. Well, that always happens though, right? <laughs> all right, so uh, where are we on to now? What's uh, our next opening day attraction? Jungle Cruise. Oh. <laughs> Jungle Cruise. And it looks like Jungle Cruise is pretty popular today. the Amazon rainforest here in the Amazon rainforest can rain up to 365 days a year by my calculations that's almost every other day if you look off to either side you'll see some of our butterflies their wingspan range anywhere from one foot to a whopping 12 inches making them the rulers of the jungle and I love the head on the beach I arranged a pick me welcoming party for us but uh, I don't see anyone canoe well something must have scared them off I don't know what it could have been uh, might have been this fella right over here. This is our giant python. They grow to be up to 24 feet long, but don't worry folks, they're real friendly creatures. They can even get a crush on you. Now I know this is an African elephant because, um, well, because we're in Africa. Uh, I love the head here. You'll notice a sandstone rock formation. I like to take the time to point that out because so many people take it for granted. Now on the head we have the Majestic Schweitzer Falls. They're named after that noted explorer Dr. Albert Falls, but we're about that too much right now. We're going to go over that later. All right, folks, we got a tight turn here. Need everyone to lean to the right. Lean to the right. Feel that refreshing mist in your face. It contains up to 900 different types of tropical bacteria. I'm going to lean in and see if I can translate what the natives are saying. Nope. No idea. Alright, everyone keep your eyes open on the right here. Sometimes they like to ambush us. Oh, no, they're on the left. Get right down. Those are spear noises. Well, they jump. The mom we have all been waiting for. The eighth wonder of the world. The one, the only. Now, Sam is our head salesman here at the jungle. Unfortunately, business has been shrinking, so he's offering a special two-for-one deal right now. 
two of his heads for just one of yours. It's a great deal, folks. Anyway, uh, slice it or dice it, you're sure to come out ahead. Okay, so we just got off of the world famous Jungle Cruise. We had Skipper Sean, who was phenomenal. He was hilarious. And having worked there myself, he was just the embodiment of a Jungle Cruise skipper. And I'm, I'm so glad we got Skipper Sean. Now, the next place we're going is actually right. Right, where is it? Right up there. The Swiss Family Tree House. What? <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to make weird noises. Oh, this is new. There's the line. So, if you haven't gathered yet, it's a very busy day today at Magic Kingdom. But mm -hmm. we're having fun. Are you? Yeah, it's peaceful. <laughs> I just wanted to make weird noise. I've never had to wait for this, have you? Not really, no. <laughs> Have you had a chance to take everything in? I wish we could go just a little bit slower. <laughs> So, like 20 minutes later, we have finished the Swiss Family Treehouse. What'd you think about it? Uh, I usually like it, but this time it was a little, little painful just how yeah. slow it was going. Yeah, and like, we were like stopping. And I didn't find myself looking at stuff. I just found myself like staring at the people in front of me, like waiting, like white. <laughs> waiting for them to really keep going. And it wasn't the people in front of us. We could like see like the, the, the problem causers, you know, like the people that were just kind of like stopping and like, you know, it affects the entire line behind them when you just stop. But it's not uh, going to affect the rest of our day. No, no, no. It was fun. I still love that. So the next thing we're doing is Enchanted Tiki Room. Yeah. And we only have two minutes. Oh no. You excited? I like the Enchanted Tiki Room every now and then. I like it every day. <laughs> it's showtime, Zay. It's showtime. Okay. Oh. Oh. What is this, Senorita? My siestas are getting shorter and shorter. Oh, look at all the people. Welcome to Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. My goodness, you are staring at us. We better start the show rolling. Wait, wait. We forgot to wake up the Glee Club. Ole! Ole! It's showtime! In the tiki 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 room In the tiki 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 room All the birds sing word and the flowers groom In the tiki 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 room It's a St. Jack's in
say adieu, but we hope you will always remember the amazing things which happened here in Walt Disney's enchanted Tiki Room. The birdies had their fling. For you. Yeah, a wonderful trick. Everybody, face the door. And the trick is, we're gonna make you all disappear. All right, so we just got out of the Enchanted Tiki Room. What did you think about that? It's cute. It is really cute. You really do see the age in like a lot of these like opening day attractions. Especially and when you do them back to back. Yeah, right. And it's interesting because that. Uh, it opened as the, I'm looking at my phone, it's, it opened as the Tropical Serenade, so it wasn't really the Enchanted Tiki Room until later, and then it was the Enchanted Tiki Room under new management, that's when they brought in Zazu, um, and uh, from uh, Aladdin, uh, uh, Iago, uh, and then now it's the Enchanted Tiki Room again, and uh, it's not my favorite thing here, but it's always cute to do and get out of the sun, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Alright, now we're gonna go have some lunch. And uh, Columbia Harbor House. Mm-hmm. Get some shrimp. Shrimp. So we are outside the Columbia Harbor House right now, but the line to get in is all the way out the door, and then it loops back inside. So we are outside setting up our mobile order, right? Yeah. Yay. And this is the beauty of mobile ordering. Ah. I'm jealous here, tuna sandwich. Look at that. <laughs> I got the fish and the shrimp. And the chicken nuggets, too, with some corn and fries. And we are overlooking the sea of people. Wow, look at all those people. That's a lot of people. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> at least it didn't get on me. <laughs> what happened? I literally just want to reach for my coat. <laughs> so if you guys can't see that, Britain's chips. <laughs> are literally sitting in like an inch of coke covered in ice. <laughs> At least your sandwich is okay. My sandwich is okay. So Roy, what just happened? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I put my drink down on this shrimp. Because <laughs> it just toppled it all over the floor. And my pants. Oh no. We both just dumped our drinks on ourselves. What's wrong with us? Okay, we just finished our lunch. Did you enjoy your tuna sandwich? I was pleasantly surprised. I wish we both had more to drink, but <laughs> I really liked my platter now. We are on our way to Haunted Mansion. And here we are. <laughs> Never knew this was an exit, right? Are you excited for this one? Yes, I actually really am because we haven't done Haunted Mansion in a while. This is probably one of the most famous rides from opening day that is still being run to this day. This is kind of cool over here in the pet cemetery. Mr. Toad is now right in the middle. So he's like right out there in the open. Before he was like way in the back and there were a lot of trees that covered him up. You spooked? No spook. We just finished Haunted Mansion, just knocked another one off of our list of opening day attractions that we wanted to do today. <laughs> uh, what's next? Uh, Hall of Presidents, which the I haven't Hall seen of Presidents. since they redid it. Yeah, I haven't seen it, I guess, in like over a year because it was closed for about a year. That's and, right, uh, you haven't seen this one either. Yeah, no, so let's do it. Okay, it looks like we uh, lucked out there. About to start the show in like a minute, and we just walked right on in. We are on the front row to see all the presidents. I'm kind of excited. So. My fellow citizens, no event could have filled me with greater anxieties than that notification on the 14th day of April, 1789, that you have selected me to lead our nation. From the beginning, 
America has been a nation defined by its people. At our founding, it was the American people who rose up to defend our freedoms and win our independence. It is why our founders began our great constitution with three very simple words. We the people. All right, all done with the Hall of Presidents. So this is kind of interesting. They have like an entire orchestra set up here in the, uh, in the pit. Do they ever use this, I wonder? I'm sure they do, because it's there. Did you like the update? Yeah, it was um, better than I thought it was going to be. Like, I actually found myself enjoying the content. I thought it was really cool, too. I liked the focus on just, like, the importance of, like, history. There were things that weren't in the last edition of the show that they put more emphasis on in this version of the show. Although I do think I like the ending of the previous version better, like the surging glory, glory, hallelujah. Like, I don't know, like, just this ending was a little bit more just, like, melodramatic, but the one before was pretty cool. All right, so the parade is coming, but I wanted to go over the things that we've done and the things that we still have yet to do. So, we've done Jungle Cruise, we've done the Swiss Family Treehouse, we've done the Hall of Presidents, Haunted Mansion, uh, and the Enchanted Tiki Room and Into Small Worlds. So we still have yet to do the Country Bears, Dumbo, uh, the Manatee Party, the Carousel, the Tomorrowland Speedway, the Walt Disney World Railroad, and the Frontierland Shooting Arcade. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff to still do. stuff, but I think it's manageable, right? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, well, I guess the carousel's right there, so let's do that. Okay. So there's still a beautiful scrim up covering the carousel, but Brennan, did you know that this wasn't always called Prince Charming's Regal Carousel? Uh, yes, but don't ask me what it was originally called, because I don't remember. <laughs> Well, it was originally called Cinderella's Golden Carousel, okay. but they changed it. This room looks like a giant birthday cake. It does look like a birthday cake. You know what else they should dress up as a birthday cake? <laughs> no. The castle! Ah. So Brennan and I were the last two people that they let in to ride this round of the carousel, so we had to split up and take up different horses. All right, we're moving. Here we go. We're going so fast. This place is so weird under all this scrim. I can't even see anything. I don't know how much you know about Magic Kingdom attraction history, but this carousel is older than 46 years old, that's for sure. It's actually about 100 years old. So look up that history. It's actually really interesting, the, uh, the carousel here today they have at Magic Kingdom. Look at Brenda, she's having so much fun. Look at her go. She's just having a blast. Having so much fun. Yay, Brennan, go. Go, Brennan. Hooray. All right, we're slowing down. We're slowing down. Where are the brakes? There they are. All right, Brennan, we did it. We did the carousel. <laughs> yeah. How was your journey? It was lonely. I'm sorry. <laughs> but where are we going now? Dumbo. Dumbo. Now back in the day, Dumbo was right around here when the park yeah. opened, but since then they've moved it to the back of the park in Storybook Circus. Alright, Storybook Circus is the first phase of the new Fantasyland expansion added to the Magic Kingdom within the past few years. And back here we have Dumbo, like I said it was behind the castle uh, when the park opened, but they took Dumbo and they put it here and they built a new one right over here. This is the original Dumbo and then this is the copy. This is the fast pass line that we are in right now. It's gonna send us inside the big top tent and then we are gonna try to go to the other side for the other Dumbo. All right, we're doing it. We're riding the original Dumbo. How could you be on your cell phone when we're about to do something as important as this? In the background over here, we have two more rides that we need to do. We have the Mad Sea Party and then of course, the Tomorrowland Speedway. All right, we're riding Dumbo. Ah, Whoa. we're bouncing. Do you want to stay up or do you want to go down? I don't know. Let's go all the way down. <laughs> ah, we're bouncing again. <laughs> and they're all the way up there. It's a beautiful angle for you, Dumbo. Whoa. This is so much fun. Yay, Dumbo. <laughs> and there's the other Dumbo over there. Ah. Oh my god. So in addition to Jungle Cruise, I also worked at Dumbo and that's how I know that this is the original Dumbo uh, between the two Dumbos that are here. So you learn stuff by working at Disney, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, heading out of Storybook Circus over here is the Seven Dwarves Mine Train. This is on the land that was once the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which was not an opening day attraction, but it did open within three months of Magic Kingdom opening. Now let's head over here to the Mad Tea Party, which was an opening day attraction. Are you gonna spin it? I don't know, you don't like the spinning. I don't like the spinning, <laughs> but they spin it on opening day, I'm sure. I'll spin it then. Ah, oh, it started. <laughs> right, here we go. Spin it, spin it. 
<laughs> I'm nervous. I'm gonna disrupt my equilibrium. Uh, disrupt that equilibrium! Where's the door? Oh no. All right, Brennan, we did it. We did the teacups. I'm trying to recover from it, uh, but I think we are gonna head across B Hub back over towards Frontierland to do the shooting arcade and the country bears. All right, entering into Frontierland, and then right over there to the left is the Frontierland shooting arcade. So I think we need to get some quarters, and then we can do this. to get you 35 shots. Why are you so awkward with this? I don't know, it's just weird. What in the world? <laughs> oh jeez. broken gun over here. What's, what's going on? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so what'd you think? It was okay. Uh <laughs> is that it? I've done that one other time before, and it's only a dollar, so I've never comparatively it it's like cheaper than everything else in the park, honestly, right? Yeah. Uh, but you've never done it. Uh -huh. I think it's fun, it's cute. If you need some like time and energy to kill with a kid, maybe give him a dollar and let him do it, right? Yeah, I mean, it's an area I've never actually been in before, so it's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Not funny, it was a little weird. But... It was super funny. It was so funny. All right, I think we have a few minutes to go catch the Country Bear Jamboree. Oh yeah, Sea Bear Jamboree. And according to the sign over there, the next show starts in two minutes. Give me a little intro, Bear. Go.
cold and pretty, but she don't swear none. She's kind of heavy, don't weigh a ton. She's my woman through and through. I love her only because her heart is true. So the Country Bear Jamboree, oh, that was actually a lower seat than I thought it was. That's actually growing on me more and more every time that I do it. Does yeah. that disturb you or are you okay with that? <laughs> I mean, I think disturbed is a strong word. Yeah. No, but the kid that was sitting next to me kept like, he wouldn't sit still and then he kept like hitting me like, and he would like use my like rib cage to like adjust his seating and I'm like, how come no one else is noticing this? Well, I had a great time, and that's all that matters. It's Roy Meets World, right? Ah. Uh, so now we are down to our final two things to do. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to go over and do the Tomorrowland Speedway, and then we are ending our day with a trip around the Magic Kingdom at the Main Street USA Walt Disney World Railroad. Which I'm looking forward to. Do you like it? Yeah, it'll be nice and relaxing. I like the types of things where you like sit and then like look at the scenery. I like that stuff. I feel like most of the day we've just gone back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Alright, we are back over here by the Mad Tea Party to get in line for the Tomorrowland Speedway. This is probably the first time that I've waited in the standby line for this ride in a long time. I'm trying to uh, find some fast passes here, but I don't know if I can. It's just too busy today. So that wasn't that long of a wait. No, it surprisingly wasn't that bad. And we are, I guess probably like five, 10 minutes away from getting to ride. Yeah. So when the Tomorrowland Speedway opened up on October 1st, 1971, back then it was known as the Grand Prix Raceway. All right. Here we go. <laughs> uh, safety first. Yay. <laughs> it's super bumpy. Super bumpy. 
this in a while. Oh, come on, man. Oh, look, the people mover stopped. Oh, no, it is. The I people wish... aren't moving. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so, Vernon, after we do this, we'll have one more thing to do, which is what? A train. Yeah, but we have to do a specific station. Do we? Yeah. The main one? The Main Street USA one, because Yay! the other two were added after the, uh, the park opened. That person's really close to us. Ah. What did you do? My foot was tired. <laughs> oh my god. My foot's so tired. Do you want me to do the gas? Yes. Thank you. Teamwork. <laughs> so I'm driving and he's steering. Yay. That poor kid in front of us. One time I drove this. Uh, with a friend and that you wanted to like just do this entire last stretch with no hands on the wheel and you just bang back and forth and ah, it's oh my God. painful. Did you have fun? <laughs> it was stressful trying to record all that while we were driving. I know right? <laughs> a little bit shaky. Yeah. But now we make our way to where? The train station! Well to the end. Okay. Yeah. We have to get off the ride first. Yeah. Did you guys know? that these bricks down here are from the Indy 500. All right, we are heading out of Tomorrowland right now. The crowds are picking up a little bit, that's for sure. And there it is, the Magic Kingdom Main Street USA Walt Disney World Railroad train station. What a mouthful that is. We got our spot on the train. Are you ready to take a trip around the Magic Kingdom? I'm so ready. I think this is a perfect way to end this day. And it wasn't that long of a day. The weather was beautiful. It was a little cold this morning. I'm rambling. Welcome aboard the Walt Disney World Railroad. We're about to take a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom, which stops along the way at Frontierland and Fantasyland. It can get pretty wild in these parts, especially if you run into Captain Jack Sparrow. He's hiding out among those scurrilous pirates of the Caribbean. So whether you're boarding a boat for the Jungle Cruise or flying on Aladdin's magic carpets, when you visit Adventureland, bring an extra dose of bravery. We've reached Frontierland Station, everyone. So sit tight until we come to a complete stop. If you're disembarking here, please carry your strollers all the way off the platform before you unfold them. We're headed for Fantasyland and to Main Street, USA. Everybody stay seated. Keep your hands and arms, feet and legs safely inside the train. And as always, keep an eye on your little ones. much since the days when settlers started heading west. Nowadays, the rails can carry us safely through the wild. Whether you're a pixie, a princess, or just an everyday dreamer, there's always something special about Fantasyland. If you're staying aboard, our next stop is Main Street Station. As we approach the station, please remain fully seated until the train has come to a fully complete stop. So there's the train. And we're not on it anymore uh, because we pulled into the Fantasyland station over here next to the Storybook Circus. There's Barnstormer behind us. Uh, they said that the train was being held here for an undetermined amount of time due to technical difficulties. So uh, they didn't tell us to get off, but we kind of assumed due to that whole undetermined amount of time that I'm not going to be up and going here anytime soon. So uh, <laughs> I guess that was our trip around the, uh, the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> in the train. We made it like three-fourths of the way there. We did. We did a good job. <laughs> I mean, we rode it. the train. That was kind of the point of it all. And the train that we were just on is the Lily Bell, Walt's wife. There's the Tomorrowland Speedway right over there. We are on our way back to Tomorrowland. And this is where, what's it called, Tron is going to go soon. Ooh. They're doing some clearing back there, I've heard, but nothing out here yet. I just noticed that the train literally stopped at the farthest end of where we need to go. We need to go out and leave Magic Kingdom, but we are in the back of Tomorrowland. We're making our way out, but boy are the crowds heavy. All right, and we had to walk the last stretch of it, Brennan, but we've almost made our full lap around Magic Kingdom. We did it. Yay. And there's no train up there, so it's a good thing we didn't wait.
And there's the train. So I guess we still got here quicker by walking, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got our steps in today. So guys, thank you so much for coming with us today. We had a fun time. This wasn't necessarily like a challenge, but like still kind of a little bit. We got to do every um, still currently existing opening day attraction here at Magic Kingdom from October 1st, 1971. And just to kind of go back over those, those were the Country Bears, Dumbo, Jungle Cruise, the Mad Tea Party, the Carousel, the Swiss Family Treehouse, the Hall of Presidents, the Haunted Mansion, Tomorrowland Speedway, the Walt Disney World Railroad, uh, It's a Small World, the Enchanted Tiki Room, and the Frontierland at Shoot and Arcade. Now there's some attractions that are kind of debated, things like Peter Pan's Flight and the Riverboat that didn't technically open on opening day. That somebody said my name. Uh, then things like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, The Flight to the Moon, America the Beautiful. They opened within the next three or so months after Magic Kingdom opened, so they're not technically opening day attractions. Uh, and then there are things like the Mickey Mouse Review, which is technically Mickey's Philhar Magic now. The Mike Fink Keel Boats, which was in the Rivers of America. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, which is now uh, the Winnie the Pooh Ride. The Skyway, which are now the Tangled Bathrooms and the Tomorrowland Dance Party Bathrooms. And then Snow White's Adventures, which is now um, the uh, Meet and Greet the Princess Meet and Greet over by the Carousel. So there are a lot of things that are still in use here. There are things that have been closed, there are things that have been repurposed in different ways, but we got to do the things that are still here in more or less their original opening day form. So thank you guys for coming with us today. We did have a lot of fun getting to do this. Um, here are some links down here if you want to follow me personally. And I will see you guys next month. I do videos every tenth of the month here on Attractions Magazine, and you can see me in uh, the show every now and then as well. So make sure to subscribe to Attractions Magazine. Click the little bell down below to be notified of videos that we upload here and what kind of videos that we upload. But on behalf of myself and Brennan, bye. <laughs> bye, I guess. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>